here at Hanover High School on a very chilly night for the Big County matchup between the Lee Davis Confederates and the Hanover Hawks. Jordan, tell us a little bit more about it. That's right, the Hawks are coming in with a record of four and three, and Lee Davis is coming in with a record of three and four. That's right, this is a must win game for the Confederates if they want to keep their playoff hopes alive. What do y'all think is going to happen? Oh, Lee Davis is going to win. Oh, definitely. definitely. Let's go, Lee Davis! Let's go, let's see the first Woo! half. All right, and here we go with the big week eight matchup out at Hanover High School as the Hawks square off with the Confederates in a tremendous county matchup. And Lee Davis would waste no time getting on the board in this one. That is number eight, Donald Kidd, with a 39-yard touchdown run. Lee Davis strikes first in this one. They take an early 7 to nothing lead. Now we're going to move on to the second quarter. Austin Rice falls into the end zone, and that is another Lee Davis touchdown. The Confederates go up 14 to nothing early in this one and yes the Lee Davis Asylum very very happy with that 14 to nothing lead but the Hanover Hawks would respond quarterback Corbin Bordoni with the pass complete to Jalen Elliott and he's in for a Hanover touchdown that's a 29 yard touchdown pass for the Hawks as they get on the board and then more Lee Davis on the way here the handoff to Blake Stadelman and he's going to take that one 26 yards for another Confederate touchdown Lee Davis would take a 20 to 14 lead at halftime and we caught up with our interns at the half. It is halftime here at Hanover and right now Confederates are up 20 to 14. Jordan tell us more. That's right Lee Davis scored first but Hanover retaliated. It's been a back and forth battle. Kayla what does Lee Davis have to do to keep this lead up? Lee Davis is definitely going to have to step up their defense, and hopefully we can pull away with the win tonight. Let's take a look at those highlights. All right, thank you, Kayla, Jordan, and Jordan. And here we go to the second half of this one. More Lee Davis on the way and more from Donald Kidd as he rushes for his second touchdown of the night. That's a 24-yard run, and Lee Davis takes a 27-14 lead. And more LD on the way coming up right here. Watch number 20, Miles Johnson. He's going to hang on to this one, sneaks around to the left-hand side of the field, disappears for a second. There he is, and he's into the end zone for another Confederate touchdown. That's a 29-yard touchdown run for Miles Johnson. Lee Davis goes ahead 33-14. to 14. Now we're going to take you to the fourth quarter. The Hawks are not done yet. Jalen Elliott with the pass complete to Josh Harris. He hangs on to that, and that's a handover touchdown. But then look out, ladies and gentlemen, because here comes Blake Stadelman, and he's in for a Lee Davis touchdown. That's his second touchdown of the game. This one just back and forth touchdowns all over the place in this game. And then Hanover's Jalen Elliott coming up here with a nice play for the Hawks as he's going to hold on to this one. He's taking it 11 yards, and he's in for another Hawk touchdown. But ladies and gentlemen, the Lee Davis defense would step up late in this game. That's a huge tackle right there from Dustin Cosby and the Confederates. Hang on just barely to defeat Hanover by a final score of 40 to 35. A tremendous win for Lee Davis on the road as the fans rush the field after this game. The Confederates improved to four and four here in 2013. And we caught up with a bunch of the C feds after the game. We've had a lot of trouble recently putting together a full game, and so Coach Hayden challenged us to do that this week. Uh, fell off a little bit in the fourth quarter. I think we were getting a little complacent, a little too excited too early, but uh, it's still a W, so that's what matters. This win definitely brings our confidence up, you know. Um, Hanover was favored to win, so I was told, and to pull the upset to me. I mean, I didn't think it was upset, but everybody else did. It just meant a lot to beat Hanover for real. I think that any win you get against a team that's in your county in a, you know, a rivalry game is a big win. And, and you know, getting two out of the last three is pretty important to our kids, and they'll remember this for a long time. 